Do you miss the 2000s? It was a great decade that brought us great music, films, and TV shows. And arguably one of the best was Gilmore Girls. It was a great comedy drama series that explored family and relationships. It was the brainchild of creator Amy Sherman Palladino. Have you wondered what the cast members are up to now? Keep watching for a look back at the Gilmore Girls cast then and now. Lauren Graham Lauren Helen Graham was born March 16, 1967, in Honolulu. She spent her childhood growing up in Japan, Washington, D.C., New York, and Virginia. She received a B.A. in English Literature from Barnard College and then pursued a master's in acting performance from Southern Methodist University. After graduating, she moved to New York City, where she worked as a tutor for the Princeton Review and as a waitress. She also occasionally dressed up as Stryker, the mascot for the 1994 FIFA World Cup. She moved to Hollywood in 1995. She began her acting career appearing in TV commercials for brands like Lean Cuisine and Dimatap. She later appeared in small roles in popular TV shows. These included roles in shows like Third Rock from the Sun, Caroline in the City, Seinfeld, and News Radio. Her big break came when she was cast as Lorelai Gilmore in Gilmore Girls. This show revolved around the relationship between mother and daughter and their friends and relatives in small town USA. Lauren Graham's role brought her fame, and she eventually became a producer for Gilmore Girls. After the show ended, she pursued a career on stage. Her Broadway debut was as Miss Adelaide in Guys and Dolls. She also became more active in cinema following her work in Gilmore Girls. Her notable film work include roles in Evan Almighty, Birds of America, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life. She reunited with her former cast members in the Gilmore Girls reunion. Her latest role is as Alex in the TV series The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. Before we tell you more about the Gilmore Girls cast, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Trender if you haven't already. Alexis Bledel Actress Kimberly Alexis Bledel came into this world September 16, 1981, in Houston. At a young age, her mother encouraged her to act at a community theater to help her overcome her shyness. As a child, she appeared in many local plays like The Wizard of Oz and Our Town. Gilmore Girls was her TV debut. She played Rory Gilmore, and this role made her a TV star. She managed to continue a successful acting career after the show ended. Two of her biggest roles in film include Lena Caligaris in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and its sequel. She also played Becky in the neo-noir crime thriller Sin City. One of her other major film roles was in the historical drama The Conspirator. Her most notable TV work today is in the show The Handmaid's Tale. She's also been regularly working in films, with her most recent film role in the 2019 thriller Crypto. Alexis Bledel has also acted occasionally in theater. Her theater work included roles in plays like Love Loss and What I Wore and College Republicans. She also received Emmy nominations for her work in The Handmaid's Tale. She won a Teen Choice Award for her role in Gilmore Girls. Scott Patterson Scott Patterson played Luke Danes, but acting wasn't his initial career choice. He was born September 11, 1958 in Philadelphia. During his university years, he played baseball and eventually dropped out to play in the minor leagues. He played with teams like the Yankees, the Braves, and the Texas Rangers. After playing baseball throughout the 80s, he decided to pursue acting. He began his acting career in theater as part of the Arclight Theater Company, which he helped form. His first major role was in the 1993 film Little Big League. He then starred in films like Three Wishes, Highway 395, Boys of Abu Ghraib, and Other People's Children. His film career was mixed with a few TV appearances in shows such as Seinfeld and Will and & Grace. His iconic role as Luke Danes became his most popular TV role. Since then, he's continued his career in both film and television. His other prominent TV role, apart from Gilmore Girls, was in the show Aliens in America. He also played Agent Peter Strom in the Saw films. He's focusing more on films today. He has three upcoming releases called The Rogue, Liberty, and The Sons of Summer. He also launched a podcast in 2021 called I Am All In, which targets fans of Gilmore Girls. Throughout the podcast, he watches the show along with the producers and other guests to discuss each episode. The guests include members of the Gilmore Girls cast as well as celebrity fans. Fans. Kelly Bishop. Kelly Bishop played Emily Gilmore in Gilmore Girls. She was born February 28, 1944, in Colorado Springs. She began her show business career as a ballet dancer. She toured with a ballet company and performed at venues like Radio City Music Hall. She first became a household name when she played Marjorie Houseman in the film Dirty Dancing. She acted in many popular films, including Six Degrees of Separation, Private Parts, and Miami Rhapsody. 
She also had a notable career on stage, appearing mostly in musicals. Her role in Gilmore Girls made her a popular TV star. Following the show, she appeared in bit roles in shows like Law & Order, SVU, Army Wives, and The Good Wife. She also had a supporting role in the Netflix series Halston. She's also expected to appear in a recurring role in the upcoming season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Edward Herman Edward Herman was born July 21, 1943, in Washington, D.C. He studied acting at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. He began his acting career in theater, appearing in plays such as Moon Children, Not About Heroes, and Mrs. Warren's Profession. He began his TV career in the 70s. One of his major TV roles was as Franklin D. Roosevelt in Eleanor and Franklin and Eleanor and Franklin, The White House Years. Apart from this role, he became famous for playing Richard Gilmore. Following this role, he continued to work in film and television. His notable film roles included The Purple Rose of Cairo, The Cat's Meow, and Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star. He died December 31, 2014. Supporting Cast Members Gilmore Girls had many great supporting cast members who have gone on to succeed in their show business careers. Melissa McCarthy played Sookie St. James. Since then, she's become a star in American comedy. She's most known for her work in films such as The Heat, Tammy, Spy, Life of the Party, and Thunder Force. She'll appear as Ursula in the remake of The Little Mermaid. She's also had dramatic roles in shows such as Nine Perfect Strangers. Kaiko Ajena played Lane Kim. This was her first major role, and before the show, she had only had a few bit parts in various shows. Since then, she's continued to be busy. She's voiced characters on shows like Kim Possible. She also appeared in the shows 13 Reasons Why, Better Call Saul, and The Never List. Lane's mother was Mrs. Kim, who was played by Emily Kuroda. She had acted on TV before and had a regular role on the soap opera The Young and the Restless. Since then, she's appeared regularly on television, with roles in shows such as Curb Your Enthusiasm, Sequestered, and The Bold and the Beautiful. Her recent film credits include Yellowface, Alec Mappa, Baby Daddy, and Take the Ten. Jared Padalecki played Dean, Rory's first boyfriend. This was his first major TV role. During his time on the show, he also acted in films such as New York Minute and Cheaper by the Dozen. His most recent TV role was in the show Walker. He's also appeared in horror films such as the 2009 remake of Friday the 13th and House of Wax. Milo Ventimiglia played Jess Mariano. He was another one of Rory's boyfriends and happened to be Luke's nephew. Since appearing on Gilmore Girls, he acted in shows like Heroes and This Is Us. He acted in films such as That's My Boy and The Art of Dancing in the Rain. Sean Gunn played Kurt Gleason, who had many different jobs around town and was a regular character throughout the series. Sean has worked mostly in superhero films since finishing his work on Gilmore Girls. These are often directed by his brother James Gunn. These film credits include Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 and The Suicide Squad. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Gilmore Girls still holds up today? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Trender if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.